know, there are several different options that are available to add some shade on the side of your R-Pod. From the factory powered awning, to the classic R-Dome, to third party provided options. In this episode, we're going to provide a review of the Pahaki trailer visor made specifically for the R-Pod. Hey everybody, this is John Marucci. Thanks for visiting the On The Road YouTube channel. You know, this channel is all about helping you get the most out of your RV travel experience. Before we get going, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when new videos are published. If you want to dive deeper, we put more content and photos on Instagram and Twitter at John Marucci. So let's jump in. You know, so here are the basics about the Pahaki trailer visor. First of all, it provides an option to permanently attached awnings. It does not permanently attach. You have to fit it each time you set it up. And it fits on the awning rails of the R-Pod, which is really nice, that are provided in the R for the R-Pod. It's polyester with some waterproofing, and it has a UV inhibitor coating. It's custom made in colors of your choice, which is a really nice thing to have. And our color that we chose was silver with matching accent colors, and it matches nicely to the 2017 uh, blue R-Pod that we have. Okay, the price currently listed is $319, but oftentimes it's on sale, so be aware of that. And according to their website, each visor is built to order and ships in four to six weeks, which was our experience as well. Okay, so let's first look at setup and teardown. You know, your, according to the instructions, your visor can easily be set up in five minutes by, you know, one or two people. Okay, we found that it was much easier with two people than just one person, by the way. It comes with three poles, they're made like tent poles, one fiberglass pole that inserts into the pole sleeve around the curved perimeter of the Pahaki visor. It has two aluminum awning poles which insert into the pockets on the bottom awning rail of the R-Pod. makes it really convenient. It has two guy lines with adjustable tensioners to keep the visor snug and held securely in place. helps a lot. Uh, it stores compactly in the included storage bag, which is a great uh, benefit to have. So let's look at the first time and, and the test setup. So the first time to do this, it's probably a good idea to test set up this, not at the campsite. Uh, when I did this, I, I did it alone, and unfortunately it caused some abrasions uh, because it rubbed on the driveway. So a quick tip here is it's much easier to maneuver with a second person to assist you. And you may want to try to do this on grass and not on concrete like I did. And it also helps to have a step stool or a small ladder to aid when guiding the visor cord up through the awning rail on the R-Pod, because it's a little high. Uh, when lying it flat to insert the poles into the curvature of the visor, make sure you do it on grass or a rug mat to avoid the abrasions I talked about just a minute ago. Keep it from rubbing against any cement or rough surfaces. Once again, this is to prevent abrasions. Okay, so you also may want to consider using a couple of socks. Now, this is an interesting tip to keep the poles together when you're packaging it and to protect the tent when you're putting it in the storage bag. So you don't want the edges of the poles to rub against the, the actual visor when it's stored. Okay, so the second thing we're gonna look at is functionality. You know, it provides a nice shade and rain protection, which is really nice. You can open your door with the visor on and not get all wet if it's raining. And enables uh, entry and exit without getting wet in the rain. It's nice you can open the door, no problem. So you can use it as a rain protection. And it actually, what we used it for too, is it for a fridge freezer that we have, we can set it up right next to the R-Pod, plug it in, and not have any problem with the rain uh, coming on to the fridge freezer unit. And you know, there's also room for a couple small chairs under the visor, so it provides a little bit of coverage as well. Uh, but just be aware, it's not like an R-Dome. It doesn't provide any screening, so there's no bug protection at all. So third, let's talk about durability. You know, these, are met, these Pahakis are made of really nice tent material. The poles, I think, are very well made. We had no real issue with workmanship, except one thing we'll talk about in a moment. And it, it held up under moderate wind and rain conditions. Okay, the other thing to note, if you're using this in a big rain event, water is going to tend to pull up around the edge of the Pahaki visor, and you need to just be aware of that when you're coming out. Uh, we use a little broom to just push the water over on top of the Pahaki and let it drain out. Uh, and, you know, that's a good idea to do it uh, when, you're, when you're as a good practice as far as getting the rain off the top. Okay, we did have one fiberglass pole segment uh, split uh, through use. And, I, you know, basically what we did is we contacted Pahaki through their website. And they got back to us pretty quickly and offered to replace the damaged pole, which they did. 
and uh, we were able to fix that pretty easily. It's very simple to fix a damaged pole, just replace it. And it was nice that the hockey folks were quick to respond and give us the replacement pole uh, to make that fix. And we're also providing a link to the YouTube video uh, about the replacement so that you can look at that in the description below. So let's talk about cleanability because a visor or an RDM or anything, you have to think about cleanability when you're out in the wild a little bit. So what we do is spray it off with a hose. You know, it does stain relatively easily, especially from birds and berries. And if the stains bother you, you may want to select a darker color. <laughs> but generally it is cleanable. You can wash it off, but you know, major stains are not gonna, not gonna come off easily. It's a fairly good value, we think. It seems like it's holding up pretty well after use considerable use both in Michigan campgrounds and down in Florida. We used it several times. It does add some nice functionality without taking up a lot of space. It's easy to pack away very compactly. Although the price isn't cheap, you know, $300 or so or a little less on sale. You know, neither is the quality. I think you really do get what you pay for and Pahaki makes a decent product in this regard. It's a little less expensive than, you know, the factory awning uh, option. So also I have to really uh, highly recommend the Pahaki customer service, really a good customer service model they get back to us uh, very promptly when we had the issue and replaced that pole we needed. Anyway, that's the review on the Pahaki visor. Hopefully it's helpful to you. If you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and share it. And I invite you to share your comments below. We love hearing from you. You know, many of you have other options, our domes, awnings, and maybe other Pahaki uh, products that you might want to share about. So leave your comments below. It really do help people. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is John Marucci, and so long for now.